Hi, in this video we will go through the environment setup that we will be using for programming in Swift. The first tool that we will be using in these videos will be Playground. Playground is the tool provided by Apple for application development and programming in Swift. If you have an iPad, go to the App Store and download Playground and you can start programming in Swift. If you don't have a Mac operating system or an iPad, if you want to program on Windows operating system, then this can be done online. You can go to the following link and start programming online in Swift language. To start writing Swift code on your device, first you need to start Xcode, then you will go to File menu, click on New and then you will go to Playground. When the Playground opens, you will need to write the name of your Playground. For now we can just write the name Getting Started. The platform will be iOS and then we'll click on next. After that it will ask us for a location. We'll select a location, we'll create a new folder or if you want to save in the previous location you can save there also but right now we will select a new location. We'll create a new folder and we'll write the name Swift Demo Create and inside this folder we'll click on create button and this will create our playground. This is the default view of a playground. Inside a playground this is the area where you write the code. This is the area where you will be shown the results. This button is to open the assistant editor. After this, this is to show the project menu. This is to show the console or debugger. And this button is to show the properties. When you click on this button the code will be executed and the compiler will open up to show the results. To start writing your Swift code on your Mac device, first you will need to start Xcode. Then you will go to File menu, select New and then select Playground from there. You will write the name of your Playground. The name for right now can be Getting Started. The platform will be iOS. Click on next. Then select the location where you want to store your project. We already had a project with that name so we replaced it. Now this is the default view that you see when the playground opens for the first time. This is the code inside the playground by default. This is the area where you will write the code. This is the area where automatic output will be shown. When you click on this button, the code will be executed. When you click on this button, assistant editor will open. This is the standard editor. When you click on this button, project navigator will open. When you click on this button, the console or the debugger will open and this will show up the properties. This is the basic of our playground on Mac device. To run Swift code on your iPad, you will go to App Store and search for Swift Playground. Once you find Swift Playground, you will click on it and you will see an option of Get and Install. Because I have already installed this on my iPad, so I am seeing an option of Open. After installing, open your Swift Playground. After opening the Swift Playground, click on plus button go to starting points and then select a blank and click on get. This is the screen you will see when you open the blank page. Inside this you can write your Swift code. To run Swift code online you can go to iswift.org slash playground and you can write your code on left hand side and when you press the run button it will show the output on right hand side. This is how you can run your Swift code on your device or online. Thank you.